Hey everyone, Zach here from Lafix. Got another video for you guys today. I got another MacBook Air A1932 in that beautiful rose gold color. It's not pink, it's rose gold. And I do like the color too. If I was probably buying one, I'd probably get one of these as well. But it's in here, obviously, for repair. Now, this one actually does turn on, but there's a problem. When it does turn on, uh, let's, let's see if we can actually replicate it. The customer says when it turns on, um, the fan gets really, really loud and it gets really, really slow. And sometimes it'll just randomly turn off. Now, when a fan usually gets really, really loud and it gets really, really slow, especially on these uh, MacBook Air models, um, or a lot of models anyway, there usually means that something can either be like disconnected in there or it could think it's disconnected because maybe there's a short going on in there, right? So let's see what's going on. So we plug it in, so we're expected to get a voltage there and our ampage and this thing to turn on, right? Kind of the whole point. And usually what it does, if it does do what the, uh, what the customer is saying, which I would hope so, if it's if they're coming in here and that's usually because oh ooh, man it's really loud <laughs> let's see so usually it would be stuck more at the apple logo for a long time and as it's loading it would take a longer time to do that as well but let's see and the fans will ramp up usually about halfway around maybe this time the fan should ramp up very loud and it should be very audible so that you can actually hear it so let's see you can see it did slow down quite a bit and let's see because these things are supposed to be fast, man. They have SSDs, right? Should be a problem. Okay, it's getting pretty loud now. And you see how slow it is, right? This is real time. So it's still really slow. It's still loading. Fans are getting louder. It's very slow. Look at the ampage there, too. It's very low ampage. So the current's pretty low. So we're getting 20 volts and about 0.3 amps, but that might kick up maybe after it gets to the OS. Maybe there's a customer's name, but you can hear the fan. It's getting even louder and probably gets really slow, maybe towards the OS or something. It's getting even louder. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like this. And what we can do is we'll take a look at it because it is still getting pretty loud. Um, I don't know if the... So the OS is responding, oh, the trackpad is actually pretty slow. Sometimes it lags a little bit. Okay, but let's pop it open um, and let's have it on while it's doing this at the same time. Well, I'm totally out of frame. So let's pop it open and let's see what's going on as it's trying to load and stuff and see if it changes, see if it turns off and stuff like that. Look at that, man, the fan still going. Can I zoom in? Oh. So I got the fan still going. Oh, look, it blew up some. Look. <laughs> so the fan is going really loud. And it seems like it's trying to get louder and louder. And now it's shut off. So you're probably asking yourself, well, well duh, duh, it's an OS problem, right? Well, let me prove you wrong there. So I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to leave it at the option, a boot, boot option menu. Oh, I'm sorry. I will definitely lower that for you guys. So you guys don't have to hear that. So, okay, watch. So if I sit here in the boot option, so we're not actually looking at the OS here itself, right? We're just in the boot menu or whatever you want to call it, the boot option menu. And this will still kick up because there's usually a hardware problem. Um, the ampage is extremely low on this and it's still about the same thing. We sh you've seen in our other videos, we've shown it before. A lot of times use your amps, probably go, you definitely get over one amp. You probably want to go closer towards like one and a half, two, sometimes three. Usually on the, the bigger ones, they might get closer to three or something. But you want to see that this is not normal. This is extremely low for it. Um, and now you can even hear the fans kicking up again. You can kind of see it. It's maxed out. And this actually just, this is funny how this actually blew up because it looks like that there may be a liquid spill there. And that's what would make a lot of sense, right, for it. So, so the fan's still pretty loud. It's getting louder. You can see it spin. And it's going to continue to get louder. So it looks like that there is a liquid spill that's on this, and that's why it's making a loud fan noise. So let's open this up. Let's take out the board. Um, I can kind of see it here on the battery connection. So since we see it, we should just unplug it, right? And you notice even when I unplugged it, right, it just immediately shut off there. So most likely there's a problem with um, this. And because these battery connections also are controlled by a little board here, um, they do regular other things, right? So this is like a data communication line between it and it's not just a regular power and 
You've seen them use a lot. Um, the older, the earlier MacBook Airs, pretty much all the MacBook Pros have them from the older ones. Uh, MacBook Airs uh, do as well. Uh, but usually these are the later ones, that 2018, that do have a little board like this. And if there's any type of corrosion on it, which it looks like there is, there's a little bit, it looks like a white little pus on there. And I don't know if I could really, ah, it went the wrong way. We can go under a microscope, take a look. doesn't look too bad, but it looks like it has been impacted. Maybe the rest of the battery's impacted. Um, who knows, maybe the trackpad's impacted too. Uh, maybe there's something else. If the liquid landed here, maybe we got somewhere else here too that's giving a problem and it's not thinking something's connected. Uh, usually if the trackpad gets connected, you, or if the trackpad gets impacted, you see that immediately. Um, maybe the keyboard got impacted too. Maybe that's why it's getting loud. But if anything is disconnected, usually in a Mac, it will boot very slow and the fan will spin very, very loud. Now, it kind of confirms what we're thinking. Be obviously, there's a liquid spill there, but you could saw that the amps were very low, and that makes sense because it's probably because the battery isn't really connected, right? Or the battery's showing a short. So what if I eliminate this, right? This is still gonna make the fan spin really loud because this thing's disconnected. So I'm gonna disconnect the battery here, and let's see if the amps change at all, if, they, if anything else really changes with the amps, right? So let's see if I plug this in and it changes anything else. See if it goes higher or about the same as those amps from before, because nothing's connected here, right? So it should probably go about the same, if not higher. Um, so we're getting a 20, because it's turning on with it, right? Unless this one requires it. I don't think it just requires it. Okay, so it's about 4.4, man, it's loud. So now, if you look at our amps, our amps, they peaked higher, so you're almost one amp, right? 0.6, now we're going over one, you see that now? So this makes a lot of sense. So now we're getting that without a battery connected. Um, it's going to go back down, obviously, because it's still going to do stuff. And it's, um, it's not charging battery. It's just kind of maybe getting juice to power on. But we did see that it did peak pretty high, which the other one never peaked that high before. But obviously, there needs to be a decent current for this to actually turn on and work. It needs its voltage and it needs a current to go on and work. Um, now it's kind of low again. Um, but it makes a little bit more sense where it peaked about 1.4 or something. Eh, we could have missed that. Who knows? And now it's going to load really slow, just like before, because of the same thing. So with and without, it's similar. Uh, it did peak higher without it, um, but it's about the same. That shouldn't happen. If you have a battery, it should be charging, right? Okay, so let's go under microscope. Let's take a look. We see here, what? These are MOSFETs. Oh, look at that. It's a little bit of damage. Not too much, a little bit. Doesn't look too bad. Did the connection get impacted, though? Like... Any, anything else? Is it just there? See the cable? Maybe the cable's bad. Maybe it needs to be a full battery replacement. Let's take it to look on the side here, though. It's just a little touch. I mean, it could. Maybe, maybe it could. Maybe it was barely touching. Um, you know, one of those cables or one of those MOSFETs. Maybe it was barely touching it. So, okay. So the board's out. I don't really think this is a board problem because it's powering on, right? But we always want to double check anyway because what if there's like a little bit of uh, corrosion there, right? Or something, something that's give, giving Megan to go crazy. So I'm just going to do a quick scan because we know this is a uh, liquid spill. Do a quick scan looking for that. Uh, liquid spills are more fun when they're not working because then when you power it on, you fixed it, right? <laughs> for sure. There's no question. But when you have stuff like this, Right, it's kind of obvious because something doesn't like something, right? It's not connected, but this can be a data issue or short something going something like that. But let's see, it looks really clean. I don't really see a problem here. All inside looks good too. No obvious damage. So the reason I'm checking the power button is because I've seen problems like that before where it corrodes and stuff, but looks good, right? Doesn't look bad at all. This doesn't look like a liquid even packed to this area. Back pad's last thing. The only reason why I'm checking all these is because it's happened before, right? So if I've seen anything like it's happened before, I'm gonna check again, because I could see the same symptoms over and over again. So this looks good. One last thing, looks like this is very clean. Um, don't see any corrosion all over. No liquid, no corrosion. Just always wanna double, triple check everything just to make sure. So it looks like we have a pretty clear, obvious uh, battery problem, and we just need to replace the battery. Okay, so I have my test battery here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test that because I think that's what the problem is for this. Um, we've seen them before. Um, 
for something like this, normally if you do have like um, something not working, that's obvious, right? If there's a problem with a trackpad, if it's cut or something like a micro tear, you would see that there would be a problem with it. It wouldn't work. Um, if that doesn't work, then usually the keyboard doesn't work as well. So if one of those things wasn't working, then that would clearly be the case. We've also seen too, uh, this, this side IO board, which would be giving a problem too, which would usually mean the power button or a touch ID isn't working. If that's the case, then, then you look over here because then there's probably a problem over here or with this cable. Um, it's very popular for that. So um, we have seen too where just the battery could have a problem. Uh, we've seen obviously earlier in the video where we said there was a little bit of a liquid damage to uh, these components here and most likely could have been fully impacted it there. And there maybe the sensor is gone or there could be another problem or maybe even one of the cables has a little bit of liquid damage. So I'm gonna bypass that. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this in real quick because for these ones, you have to remove it with the glue anyway, but we'll probably end up having to do that anyway. But here's a nice little test one that I have here to see if we have this problem, right? And if this wouldn't be it, then we'd probably focus more on a board level type repair for it. But let's see if I plug this in and I'm going to hold this up as I do that. We'll see if we get that long or very short um, thing, right? Uh, where the fan kicks up or something. So. Let's see, so we're getting our voltage there, which looks good. Uh, that means the battery's charging, the amps are going up pretty high. Ooh, I'm sorry, it's really loud. But it's going up really rapidly. We're about 1.3, 1.4 amps, so nice current there. Um, and we can see that this looks like it's booting fast, but I can't say it until it actually boots, right? <laughs> see, there's a problem there. Okay, so when the light, when the backlight even brightens a little bit more, that means that it's, it's sensing something good. So this did turn on extremely fast there, and it, it's faster than it ever was, right? And that does uh, most likely because it doesn't detect any problem, um, and it's just booted, right? Because when it does the Apple logo, it's doing a lot of self checks and stuff make, to make sure before you actually get a full a power on. And we even see the fan isn't even, <laughs> it's not even spinning, um, which on these models is usually pretty, um, on these models, it does happen a lot. Um, this thing gets extremely hot and there's no fin connecting there. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on um, doing a repair for the A1932, uh, I believe it's 2019 MacBook Air. If you did, please leave a like, really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. We got lots of board level repairs. We got data recoveries. We got lots of cool, interesting stuff on this channel. We upload constantly all the time. So definitely stay tuned, guys, for this video and lots more to come. And I hope you guys are watching. Take care, bye.